Hello, hello! I'm the official name raider. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today we're looking at Toad's Cool and Toad's Cruel. Not quite an, a, a Paldean form or a regional form, but rather just a different species of Pokemon entirely. And personally, I support this idea. I think it's better off this way, because regional forms are just an exclusivity timer that only make it harder to obtain in future games. If it's not a regional form, this can show up in a different game without problem. You can see this in Gen 10 or 11. You're not going to see a fucking Alolan Sandslash in the next game unless it's through some convoluted bullshit. This gets rid of that problem, so I support this decision. Sorry, Mariana, but I'm going to have to disagree with Glenn here. It's not clever at all. You named it Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh, but instead made it feminine and also mushroom. So I don't quite get it. Even if Seto means mushroom, what the fuck does Kaiba mean? Kaiba Mushroom, Mushroom Kaiba, Dragon Man, but Mushroom? Don't get it. I'm gonna highlight this one just because I finished editing the Kilowattro episode where we talked about, what's it called? Bulldozer from Transformers, and although this name Quintessen, I feel like, stands out on its own, putting the G1, which I think was also the Buzz Saws thing too, putting the G1 is gonna help emphasize it as well. Would I use it? No, but for the Transformers nerds out there, maybe you like it. Goombario I think I'm okay with. I don't know. I feel like we might have seen Goombario or Goombella in the past before. Do I think it's great? No. Do I think it's at least different from most of the mushroom names? Yes. We've seen a couple of mushroom Pokemon throughout history and usually they're pretty low tier. So although this one's low tier, it's at least a little bit different. And then literally how has no one thought of Toadette? Because Toad and Toadette are thought of all the fucking time and it's overdone and annoying. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and just let you get a nice little preview of the first nine names here on Ranker, and then draw your attention to number seven, which is Fun Guy. You are so funny. I also remember when my third grade teacher made that joke. It's still not funny 20 years later. Stop trying to force it. Ranker, you've gone out of control. First of all, you have... Okay, well, it just says best Toad's Cruel. None of them are actually any good, but 73 is a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick scroll so you can see all the bullshit that they come up with. Like Igneous, like Igneous Rock. Komodo, like Komodo Dragon. Ragnarok, which isn't even spelled right, but you know, that's fucking mythological. Pebbles, like rocks. Stonehenge, like rocks. Obsidian, like rocks. Alloy. Iceberg, tectonics. And there's just Onyx down there by itself. Okay, we've reached the bottom. This was just a game where they just took a name and just altered it to be silly. It's not actual nicknames. This is funny because this isn't even Ranker. It's, well, I mean, it's Ranker. But it's just an advertisement for, here's all the Ranker pages we have. And if you type in Toad Scroll on the search, it doesn't even show up. Uh, this is nothing. I come across that too much. This is complaining and praising the official names. This is blank. These two are the, actually just the same article. It's just page one, page two. And then uh, this is pretty much all we did. So Toad's Crew is unloved and doesn't have a single choice. We will go over the comment suggestions real quick, which is just Fancy Legs. Fancy, yeah, Fancy Legs. That one's, I mean, it's nothing special, but I mean, shit, at least it's something. If this episode didn't help you, which I'm sure it didn't, other mushroom Pokemon to consider, Parasite came to mind, Amoongus came to mind, Breloom came to mind. It's based off Tentacruel, so you could also take a look at the Tentacruel episode and see if any of those give you any ideas. Again, I feel like most mushroom Pokemon are kind of just starved for nicknames. Like, any time we come across a mushroom Pokemon, it's always just dead weight and there's nothing interesting. Like, I think Chaotix suggested Blast Cat for Amoongus, and I was like, well, that's fine. And that's based off, like, the little mushrooms that explode in Metroid Prime. Like, that's just a nothing-ass, not even enemy, it's just an environment with a mildly okay name. But, like, that's, that's again, we're just starved on mushroom Pokemon. We don't, there's nothing good. We still haven't figured it out. It's been 20 years, and everyone's still just shrugging their shoulders and being like, Toad! We have, like, at least three, maybe four of them. 
You gotta come up with at least more than one idea. As many good ones as you can. Because we don't have them. Any ideas and suggestions you have, feel free to put in the comments below. Let us know what you'd use or recommend. What are your thoughts also on the idea of non-regional variants that are almost regional variants? Again, I said my piece. I support it. I think it's a good idea, but I have also heard people criticize it. So I'm curious what your stance is as well.